Kathleen. Mm -hmm. um, can you introduce yourself? Pardon, introduce myself? Yes. Um, I'm Sarah McBriarty and I'm from Gander, Newfoundland. Um, the status of women, I sit on the board of directors for the status of women in Gander, Newfoundland. Um, I'm vice chair of the board and I'm here basically looking for ideas that I can bring back to the board and uh, basically spend some money. So projects that we can get started, anything that uh, we can do at the grassroots level to you know, help women within the community, within the region that I'm from. Um, what is your experience here as uh, young women? There, I understand there are about 400 um, delegates under 30 registered. Um, have you connected with some of the uh, younger sisters? What's your experience been in that regard? I haven't regard? had a chance. I've had discussions with them within the um, workshops themselves. But I'm actually here with you know, uh, older women that I'm from my hometown. So I'm mostly, you know, just doing the discussions with them about what ideas we like, what ideas we don't like, and you know, what will work for us in the board. Does it feel to you that the conference is, or is organized in such a way as to make it uh, appealing to young feminists? Would you call yourself a feminist? I would call myself a feminist, definitely, yeah. Um, it is appealing. I was hoping there'd be more on, now it might be the workshop that I'm choosing, I was hoping there'd be more on the new wave of feminism, uh, you know, that, that are out there. Um, what does that mean to you, the new wave of feminism? Um, what does that mean to you? Well, incorporating everybody, I think you've kind of got a bad name. A lot of young women have gone in the opposite direction. They kind of lost the, um, the empowerment. They think empowerment is tied into, you know, being scanty and clad and overly sexual and that kind of stuff. And I think we've gone totally in the wrong direction. You know, it's now the new F word. It's not no longer a positive thing that young women want to be involved in. So I'm trying to find a way to change that within my small community on the micro level. Um, so hopefully we can get more young women involved. And I think that social media has a lot to do with it. So I'm involved in starting a web page back where I'm from. Um, and hopefully get on Twitter and get on Facebook so that we can connect to more young women. Because that's how they, that's their method of reaching out. You know, when they need help or have any questions or concerns, they usually email or text. Um, rather than make a phone call, which connects them personally. And they're all, uh, you know, they kind of want to be a little more honest nowadays, you know? So that's, uh, that's what I do. Um, uh, does the fact that the sort of intergenerational nature of the conference allow you to interact with sort of older women, um, different ages of women? Definitely. That's what I'm finding more. I'm connecting more with the older generation than I am with people my own age, um, which is good because I think, you know, the experience that they've had and the hurdles that they've had to overcome, we can gain a lot from those young feminists uh, and how to move forward and, you know, what to avoid and what not to avoid, you know, and how to um, how to approach the issue. So what's been the highlight for you so far? We're at the middle of day three. What's been the highlight so far? Um, well, the highlight for me, um, well, I'm a young mother myself, so any discussion I can get into on the role of young mothers um, within society, and I think the women that I'm with and the world that I come from, a lot of the mothering is lost in that, and you're kind of seen as not as strong a feminist if you are a young mother. I'm pregnant right now, actually. I'm expecting my second child. Congratulations. So, I try, I'm trying to find a way to incorporate, you know, breastfeeding lactation into my role as a, a young feminist. Because I think we felt excluded as young mothers in the past. So, yeah. Great. Uh, anything else you want to say? Uh, no, that should be it. Okay, thanks very much. Thank Enjoy the conference. <laughs>